This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Michelle Cordy with me. Hi. Thank you for joining me, and Matea Chapman. Thank you very much for joining me. We are here to talk about an event coming up, and we're going to talk a bit about uh, it being Breast Cancer Awareness Month and where your some of your uh, proceeds for your event it's going to. So, you are holding the second annual Cordy's Elf Magical Christmas Market. I am. Can you yeah. talk about the when it is? Yep, so it's going to be November 5th at Lombardi Hall from 9 to 3, and we're going to have vendors, um, Santa Claus, um, face painting, kids' craft table, balloons, and a big part of it is going to go towards the Breast Cancer um, Foundation because we just lost a friend to uh, breast cancer a few months ago. Oh my so goodness. Yes, yes. And, and uh, Matea, it was your sister we're yes. talking about. Yes, it was. And her name was Fallon? Yes, Fallon and, Chamberlain. And when did she get diagnosed? Um, she got diagnosed three years ago and she went into remission um, and then it came back and it had metastasized and anyway she had passed away in August, late August. Um, she has two little girls, Paisley and Clara, both eight and five and so a big part of her life was giving back um, to communities and raising awareness about breast cancer and she was really involved with the vendor shows with Michelle. Um, so it was really important to her to continue on and I'm really happy to be part of it. So, well, yeah. what, what, what a legacy, what an honor you're doing for your sister. She was only 35. Yes, she was. Only 35 years old. So uh, you're no stranger to these, these events no. then? No. No, no. no. We're also going to do a uh, angel tree for the girls because um, it's just going to be a really rough Christmas for them. So we're, a lot of the vendors have donated items to them and also the silent auction. And yeah, yeah, yeah. we're hoping. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, your vendors, my goodness, you've got oh, more than 70 vendors already? Um, there's almost 100 now. Wow. Yeah. We've got homemade crafts, knitting, crocheting, soap uh, making. I couldn't write them all down. I yeah. remember the paper. Uh, yeah. Candles, crystal jewelry, preserves, old-fashioned fudge, all sorts of yeah, different things. Yeah, and we're going to have Southern Kitchen cooking up some Louisiana home cooked meals so nice. that'll be really nice well you, yeah. you need a little bit of uh, sustenance if you're going around to 100 vendors yeah. too so yeah. you need to stop and they take a do. break so yeah wow so this sounds great and there the angel tree is that the toy drive that um, you're yeah we're gonna put it towards um, Fallon's two little girls and if there's anything extra um, we're gonna donate to the Smith Falls angel tree oh wonderful wonderful yeah. So you say Santa Claus is going to be there? Santa is going to be That's there, That's going to be one yes. of the first events that Santa's going to show up to this year. Yes, this he's awesome. going to be there, and he's even going to get pictures with pets if people would like, because last year we had a lot of recommendations for their pets. So. And, you know, you're always as good as your last event. You know, when you have yeah. it, you know, you learn from the last one, and, and people tell you what they want. And that's great. You do. Yeah, yeah. that's great. People could come out and get their pictures taken with their children, with their family, yeah. and with their pets. Yes. Yes, yeah, for definitely. sure. For sure. So this is the second time out. More than 100 vendors. My goodness. Right in time for Christmas. Yes. That's right. That's right. You can do some Christmas shopping and support Breast Cancer Society exactly. here in town, too. That's what we're hoping. And you're no stranger to arranging events, either. I looked at your page, and I think you... I'm not. We started last October. Um, a bunch of my friends were joking around because we have a big yard. We live in Rideau Ferry, and let's do an event because COVID was starting to yes. break. So I talked to my husband. I figured, no, he won't do it, but we ended up doing it in our home and it was such a huge success. So our vendors asked if we could continue. So that's when we found Lombardi Hall and we worked together to do it. Yes, and the people at Lombardi Hall are just amazing they, too to work for, for events, especially when uh, the events are going to, uh, you know, to help out the Breast Cancer Society yes. and, and other yeah, charities. Yeah, no, they're great to work with. They, ha they are yeah. for sure. So for more information, how do they find out about your, your um, event? They can go on Facebook. It's Cordy's event page and I'll have all the details there or they can contact myself, Michelle and Cordy on Facebook. All right. All right. And you say you've been to these events before too. Are you yes. a vendor? Then? No, I'm not a vendor, but my sister used to sell Scentsy Bear. Um, so she used to go all the time. She did her own private business as well before she passed. So her going there it meant a lot to her and she'd bring her kids and so she really enjoyed doing them she was there last year and then unfortunately she couldn't continue mm -hmm. so she was there on mother's day yeah, yeah. on yeah. mother's day so i'm going there this year just to walk around and help out as much as i can and kind of honor her that way and her children will be there as well and her parents and brother and 
hopefully his new baby and yeah. his fiance. So we'll all be there as a family to support Fallon and and support Michelle and all the vendors and stuff like that. So yeah. Wow, wow. So many things going on here right now too. Lots of emotions too. I understand that. Oh just, yeah. You yeah. know, uh, some friends are, are sisters at heart too. So I totally oh, understand definitely. that. Definitely. They're yeah. they're all family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So your event again is on November 5th. It's from 9 to 3 at the Lombardi Hall. It more is. than 100 vendors, my goodness. You can get lots of Christmas shopping done, but uh, more so come out and support a family uh, in so many ways. Uh, some of the proceeds are going to the Breast Cancer Society and to help out Fallon's children. How old are they again? Uh, Paisley's eight and Clara will be six at the end of this month. Wow, wow. well, let's try and give them the best Christmas. Yes, that'd be great. As yeah. we can, for exactly. sure, for sure. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, I've got uh, Matea Chapman, Fallon's sister, and uh, I've got Michelle Cordy with me. Uh, I'm going to say your sister, too. Yes. Sisters yes. at heart. Yes, definitely. Okay. Thank yes. you very much for joining us, ladies. Thank, thank, thank you for you. having us.